this pile of stuff. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am not a Halloween person. However, a, a potion bottle came across my feed and I was like, that is so adorable. So I rummaged through my boxes of bottles that oh, one of my sponsors gave me, Connie. Hi Connie and thank you again. And so I've got a bunch of those and I spray painted them black with Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. And I, right now I have some black tissue paper. I'm just kind of like crinkling it and ripping it at the same time. I don't, I'm not going to do this to all of them. I just want to do it to maybe one just to see what happens. And I've got some little jam jars. And if you can tell, they're not quite um, solid in color. So I've got all these tissue papers. I'm going to move these over here. Oh, and i got to get my glue gun plugged in. I've got a bunch of... See, I don't have anything from the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, guys. I do have resin molds or Palmer clay molds. Spiders and bats and owls and skeleton hands and my old dead tree and a pumpkin. I don't know if I'll have to use the pumpkin because on the labels that I found, there's nothing for pumpkin. So this is going to go onto this jar here. So I'm just going to go ahead and push that on there right now. This was an olive jar because we always put green olives on our pizza when we make pizza salad dressing jars, olive oil jars, and wine bottles. So I've got a, an assortment of things here. These are like little cattails because I had some frog something about frog somethings on one of my labels. Oh, here's my labels. I found a bunch of free ones and what I did was I printed them out, soaked them in tea and they weren't dark enough. So I took some a napkin, like a tissue for your nose and I tried out several colors. I tried espresso, that was too dark, pebble, that was okay but it wasn't brown and then teak wood was too dark and I ended up using latte. But I dabbed it on the little tissue and then I just kind of like scrubbed it around. So it looks really old. Some dragonfly wings. There's one that the other two, the other two broke off when I pulled them out of the mold. Anyways, they, they were clear when I started. Um, I just used 20 minute epoxy and I had a dragon. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know if these are going to actually fit on the bottles. We'll, we'll do, we'll do something. We'll get it to work. So I'm going to plug in my glue gun. I got some matte Mod Podge.
I want to make my dragonfly wings kind of iridescent, so I've got some wax it's called Mystic Turquoise. I have some purple somewhere too. Just put a little bit on your finger. Rub it on. So here's my collection of potions, <laughs> all finished. I thought that I had a six inch wide roll of burlap, but you know, I did some purging and I just went crazy. So I ended up just finding some old nasty fabric, uh, cut circles out of it, glued them down, wrapped the twine and I used ink on them. But there's my rat tails. Can you see the little rat tails on there? Vampire blood. Um, this one is called Black Cat Magic Potion. I tore the dragon wings off of the dragonflies. And there's the skinny jeans for the recipe. <laughs> the dragon's breath back there. The bat. Those are bat wings, bone dust, zombie brew. They're fermented zombie toes and fingers, and snail saliva. And the swamp water, I hot glued kind of a sloppy cobweb. Pretty cool though. So there they are. Now what I did was, I took my favorite varnishing spray, 
spa urethane from Minwax. It's a Helmsman brand. And I spray sealed everything so that uh, you can't scratch it off. Well, you can scratch it off, but it gives it a little added protection. Aren't they cute? I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll probably try to sell them. <laughs> I just, I, like I said, when I started this video, I don't do Halloween. But they were so cute when I saw that one come across my video. I thought, I got to do that. So there they are. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try. If you're into Halloween, absolutely. You got to get these out and put them on the shelf everywhere in your house. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, comment, share. And we will see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.